Okay, okay. Let's get started on this video, like, right about now, fam. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Um, I am sitting in a different location purely because the beauty room slash studio slash office is currently under construction. Okay, I'm getting things ready in that room and I kind of thought that, okay, well, there's other places in the house where I can sit and film. So here I am. I'm sitting here and I'm filming. Um, you guys have wanted to know um, about my intermittent fasting journey. And I thought, well, I'm here now. So, and I'm comfortable and I'm sitting on the floor. And I thought, okay, well, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it, right? So if you guys didn't know, or if you don't follow my channel or any of my social media, then you wouldn't know about this. But uh, recently, a couple of months ago, maybe three and a half months ago, I started intermittent fasting. And we're in February now. And the reason why I decided to... Okay, wait. Before we even get into that, okay? What is intermittent fasting? Now, intermittent fasting is everywhere. Like, if you wanted to know what intermittent fasting is, all you need to do is just go and research and Google intermittent fasting, and you will know exactly what it is. Intermittent fasting is a system of fasting where you voluntarily put your body through fasting uh, methods for certain periods of time. So, it's something that you do voluntarily. A lot of the time, fasting generally is something that we do. We often really just fast when we're sleeping because we're not eating when we're sleeping. But this is more on the lines of um, doing it for um, to a little bit more of an extreme, but at the same time doing it to achieve a particular gain. So for a lot of people, intermittent fasting, uh, they do it because they want to lose weight or they want to lose weight and gain muscle. This is in conjunction with the gym uh, or they just, you know, they're just trying out a new different method in terms of losing weight because maybe the method that they've tried before doesn't necessarily work or that kind of thing. So for the most part um intermittent fasting is periods where you put your body through a fast mode to achieve a particular gain i'm so sorry so it cycles between periods of fasting and of eating and intermittent fasting comes in the ways that i know it it's three particular ways there's three different types of intermittent fasting there's the 16 8 method 16 8 method basically means you fast for 16 hours and you eat for 8 the period the winner you don't eat constantly the whole time for 8 hours but you have an 8 hour window period where you can eat and then for 16 hours you fast and then there's the eat stop eat which happens when you um fast for 24 hours maybe twice a week on non-consecutive days so basically you will start fasting from dinner to night and then don't eat at all until dinner tomorrow night so, um and then the other one is the 5-2 method which is a little bit harder a little bit trickier because um you reduce your calorie intake to about five or six hundred six hundred calories which i'm really not familiar with so i'm not going to sit here and talk about it the method that i do is the 16-8 method right now it is 11 o'clock so uh in the morning obviously <laughs> it's 11 o'clock in the morning so um i last finished eating last night at eight o'clock and i will only resume eating an hour from now at 12 p.m so uh, i'm fasting for 16 hours and then from 12 p.m to 8 p.m that is my window to eat again the reason why I started, I have a blog post on this on uh, my blog and I'll link it down below. But basically, uh, the reason why I started intermittent fasting is because you guys know, if you've been following my um, channel and my journey, you guys know that I, uh, maybe two years ago, I think this is going on the third year, started the healthy eating journey. And I changed the way I eat. I cut out sugar. Um, I just incorporated more greens into my food and this and that and the other. And I'd been doing that for the longest time and maybe like two years or something. I don't know. Or under two years. I don't remember the time periods because I don't, I don't care about things like that. But for the most part, um, 
I started healthy eating and by the time I decided to introduce intermittent fasting into my um, um, into my journey is when I the weight loss sort of plateaued so I had lost by November last year November, December Jan when Feb now yeah so by November last year I had lost about 17 and a half kilograms and I was okay but I think it wasn't it was about seven kilograms shy of my goal weight so my body had reached a place where it had plateaued and I was just like mm, but I you know I've gone all this way I've I've gone all this way let me try lose just that extra you know uh seven kilograms so what can i do to lose a little bit more weight right um health wise i was eating okay i was eating healthily i was happy with that lost a lot of weight as a result of it even more happier with that but i'd reached a point where my weight was just like girl is enough okay i'm not gonna go any further than this so i tried to sort different um methods in which i could um lose a little bit more weight so i contacted a friend of mine uh roxanne and she's got a channel on uh, youtube as well I'll link her channel below or i'll write it somewhere here um so roxanne had been doing intermittent fasting for a while before i decided to start and she gave me some tips on intermittent fasting and what to do and what not to do and one of the biggest things she told me was to introduce apple cider vinegar into my life especially when i'm intermittent fasting now this thing is a part of my life every day without fail twice a day in the morning and in the evening and it's got really really great properties so basically i started into intermittent fasting in November and we are now in February and I have then since lost another wow is there somebody in my house okay and uh, I have then since lost another four and a half 4.8 kilograms so in about three months lost almost five kilograms because of the intermittent fasting um, so I'm happy with that and I've recently introduced a uh, gym in my life as well which is kind of weird I've got a gym session with my personal trainer today I don't want to do it intermittent fasting does great things for your body basically it um, your growth hormone um, sort of skyrockets and shoots up and you have um, it's good for cellular repair so when you're fasting your cells have a time in which they can repair themselves which makes you stronger and more um, it, it sort of boosts your immune to to be stronger and protect you against uh, diseases and things like that so with the growth human growth hormone uh it basically skyrockets your human growth hormone skyrockets which uh is very good in terms of propelling you in terms of losing weight and in terms of muscle growth so that's very very good and um yeah for the most part i just wanted to try it um it helps a lot now that i'm at gym in terms of muscle growth um i go to gym three times a week because I'm not trying to lose a dramatic amount of weight, but at the same time, I'm, I'm just trying to get my body to be stronger. And what Jim has taught me in the last month is it's made my body, like control over my body a lot more better. Um, when I was at gym, I was falling over a lot of the time and things like that. But anyway, that's not why we're here. Um, so the weight plateaued. I started intermittent fasting in uh, November and we're now in February and I've lost four and a half kilograms, which is wonderful. Wonderful. So that reduces me to if I can lose, say, another three to four kilograms, I'll be like, I'll be the journey so far has been tough it's been so so tough um intermittent fasting does not play you have to have a lot of discipline especially if you're going to be doing the 16 8 method because you are going to be putting your body through a fasting mode for a long period a long period and periods that we're not used to because we can eat dinner at eight nine o'clock at night and then have breakfast at seven o'clock the next morning which with intermittent fasting and the 16 8 method it doesn't quite work that way so um it's very difficult the first um week of my intermittent fasting was the hardest it was the wowza 
Kuri. Nikil hapili. For most of the time, I was hungry. My body was just, my, my intestines were moving. That's why you get that feeling like you're hungry. That It's actually your intestines moving. Doesn't necessarily mean, you know, but we attribute it to us feeling hungry. That's actually what they're doing right now. Oh my God. <laughs> and the way I combat that is actually drink a lot of water. And it sort of silences and makes me feel better against the hunger pangs um so the first week was very very difficult for me i could not handle it i was just like huh why am i not eating i'm eating healthily anyway so why am i not <laughs> i was very very sad about it but i got over it quickly uh once you get to a point where you're used to it and it's 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 um you know your body accustoms and adapts to the fact that you're going to eat at 12 and you're not going to eat at 8 a.m anymore it gets better you don't feel it as much but the benefits of uh, i'm looking at my laptop now because i did a blog post on it and i've i've got it right here so um so the benefits of acv are very 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 good and i feel like this one is the best one this is the Bragg's one i'm going to say it now and hopefully i won't be asked about this again i buy this if you're in south africa i buy this apple cider vinegar from Diskim. they have it all the time they have this size which is uh 40 473 milliliters such a weird i mean why not 500 okay 473 milliliters but they've also got a ginormous one this one is found at Discam and it retails for 120 and they've got a bigger one like a ginormous one which retails for about 200 and something the benefits it's got very very great digestive properties it helps you with your digestion uh it kills harmful bacteria as well and it helps you lose weight quicker as well especially in your gut area which i know for all of us here you know when we've got like extra little love handles that we need to go away acv is very very good for that but acv combined with a lot of water um, um okay i found this on the web for a cv combined with a lot of water and mum take a look siri is so weird so it's very very good it's very very good uh it's tricky it's tough but if it's something that you really want to get into i highly suggest that you speak to um uh, a doctor about it and then read up on it and then have the discipline because it's gonna take a lot from you okay especially if you're gonna wake up on a weekend and you're not going anywhere and you've had a long night the night before and the first thing you want is something salty like you want you want something like meat and something salty like first thing when you wake up and it's like nine o'clock and you're like shit but i can't eat until 12. so you have to have a lot of discipline if you're going to go the intermittent fasting route and if you want it to work you have to do it the right way um it works even better if you're healthy eating as well because it's given me a lot of discipline when it comes to food and when it comes to what time i eat and when i eat and uh like for instance my family loves to do breakfasts over the weekend like we'll meet somewhere and have breakfast it gives me a lot of discipline because sometimes i just have to just drink this so on intermittent fasting what you can have while you are fasting is water and tea without sugar because the moment you add sugar or honey or anything to it then you're breaking your fasting so right now i am uh, yo-yoing with my weight um you know i'll lose a kilogram there gain it there blah 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 so i'm not too tough on myself this time around but honestly if you want to go the weight loss route i do highly advise that you try intermittent fasting but at the same time do it with a healthy eating journey as well um that's pretty much i've been sitting here for 20 minutes that's pretty much all i'm gonna share with regards to intermittent fasting i hope this video was helpful for you um i want it to be a very chilled sort of laid back uh let's chill let's chat kind of uh vibe and i hope you enjoyed it um yeah and if you are thinking of intermittent fasting let me know down below let's chat about it uh see a doctor about it talk to your doctor about it and yeah I'll talk to you very, very soon.
Bye.